The new Relentless line from Ariat featuring the Futurity Showman and the Frontier Boone boots are a modern take on the cowboy boot tradition. Designed in collaboration with 26-time world champion Trevor Brazil, these boots have lively colors and comfort. And today, I'm gonna break down all the details in this quick impression video. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. Texas native and pro rodeo hall of famer Trevor Brazil has been collaborating with Ariat Boots on their Relentless boot line for the past seven years. I tried some Relentless boots back in 2019, but Ariat has updated the line with new colors, new toe shapes, and new Ariat technology. Ariat sent me some examples of these boots and are also sponsoring this video today, so huge thanks to Ariat for supporting the channel. But we gotta break down the details of this relentless Futurity and Frontier Boone line, and you know where we start, always with the rundown. All right, this is the Ariat Relentless Futurity Collection, and the men's boots are the Futurity Showman. And the women's boots here are the Futurity Boon Boots or the Frontier Boon Boots. It seems like they may be changing the name right now. So some of these boots are named Futurity Boon and some of them are Frontier Boon, but they're basically the same thing. All of these feature a rough out leather foot and counter. And there's lots of different color options for both men and women. For the men, you have some more mainstream color options like this Dijon tan rough out or this black rough out here, but you can also go a little bit more fancy and stand out with colors like this stone blue rough out, which I like a lot. And then for the women, we also have lots of color options, including this fiery red rough out and this ancient turquoise color rough out. And all of these boots feature a narrow square toe, AKA a cutter toe. All of the boots are coming in at 13 inches tall, and they all feature a one and three quarters inch bonded leather heel. We have a leather outsole on all of them, which is Ariat's new tech step outsole. And the thing that makes this a little bit more tech step is that they have a little bit of extra cushion in between their removable insert and the outsole itself. This is also a Goodyear well construction, so if you should happen to run through this leather outsole, you could take them to a cobbler and get them resold. On the inside, we have a leather lining all the way through, and it appears to be a pigskin leather. For a removable insert, we have a couple of different things. On the men's boots, we have Ariat's Pro Performance removable insert, and on the inside of the women's boots, we have a removable all-day cushion insole and they're very similar. It just feels like the Pro Performance is a little bit more reminiscent of the old ATS Pro from Ariat, and the All Day Cushion is a little bit more reminiscent of the old Ariat 4LR insole from my experience. And then underneath that removable insert, we have a foam footbed that gives you a little bit more cushion on top of what you're already getting from that removable insert. This relentless Futurity line is made in Mexico and the women's boots are coming in at $249.95 at Ariat.com and the men's boots are coming in at $299.95 at Ariat.com. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on those relentless Ariat Futurity Showman boots and it feels nice. The cushion in there definitely is noticeable. So now only am I getting that Performance Pro sort of old ATS Pro feeling. And that old ATS Pro was a very nice insole. This definitely brings over a lot of things from that. It feels really nice. One thing that I'm noticing, however, is that that toe box is really low. So right here, like I can definitely feel it pressing down on top of my toes. And from talking with some of you guys, I've heard that some of you have an issue where maybe your toes are just a little bit taller and you have issues uh, with some of these style toe shapes or maybe a snip toe where that toe box is just a little low and the toes feel cramped at the top. 
This is a very similar feeling to other boots that I've tried in that same vein, like our Watson. Their narrow square toe is very similar to that, where it's just very low. And it makes a good look, like it's a good profile, but for some folks out there, it kind of compresses the top of the toes just a little bit too much. That's what I'm noticing right now. And I'd say that it's a good idea to go true to size with these. So I went with an 11D, that's what these are here. And I'd have to say that it is equivalent to other 11Ds on the marketplace, spanning a bunch of different brands. All of the classic brands, I'd say that these are right on par with other 11Ds. But if you have a different experience, let me know down in the comments. That's what I love the comments section for. Uh, it just brings everybody together so that people doing research on boots, what do they want to be their next pair? They can educate themselves to the fullest extent. So let me know your experience if you have these boots down in the comments. Check it out. I really like that blue look. I like the uh, blue rough out. Let me pull over those jeans so you can see what they would look like just wearing them normal. <clears throat> and it's a really cool kind of bright look that you get with rough out the texture and the colors in combination is just really attractive. And I think it looks great. All right, so here's a more classic, more mainstream color that's a little bit more acceptable wherever you go. Maybe this will be a little bit more popular than that you know, bright stone blue. I really like the stone blue, but if you're a little bit more reserved, uh, maybe you wanna go something like this uh, Dijon tan rough out. Uh, it's a good look, it's classic style, and you just can't go wrong with it, you know? It, it, it just looks spectacular. I really like the look of these rough outs. And here is how it would look just wearing normal. Classic style right there. These black rough out boots look spectacular. I'm a really big fan of the black, and I really like the fact that black rough out eventually goes gray, like it turns gray the more that you wear it, and it looks really good. It le it's like a reverse patina, kind of. Here's a bright red rough out, that Frontier Boone women's boot. Gotta love that look. Man, it's a bright red all around. And then this turquoise color, it's called the Ancient Turk Frontier Boone ladies boot. The cool thing about this one is that it has the gold tops. Those gold tops are very metallic looking, and I kind of like the combination of those metallic gold tops with the turquoise rough out foot. It's a very interesting combination of texture and colors. I gotta say I'm a huge fan of the colors and the rough out leather in this new Ariat Relentless line with the Futurity Showman and the Frontier Boon boots for the ladies over here. Rough Out is such a great leather that doesn't really need as much care as some of the smooth leathers. I know some folks out there will be like, but you still gotta take care of it. You do, it's true, but it's much less finicky. You don't have to do as much to it. My godfather who trained horses loved Rough Out boots. He said you didn't have to take care of them as much and the only thing that you really needed to do was brush them off with a brush and then you're pretty much ready to go to a wedding in them. You know, it might need a little bit more care than that depending on what you do, but you know, taking a brush to these and roughing up those fibers definitely goes a long way for these rough out boots here. You might be wondering, what's the big deal with all the colors? Why are they so bright? And I think that it has to do with that these are boots for competing cowboys and cowgirls. From my travels all across the country, I've talked with several cowboys and store owners who serve mainly cowboys, and they've said that bright colors can help competing cowboys and cowgirls get better scores because it allows the judges to see their footwork while they're in the stirrup and the saddle. So these bright colors 
can be seen from further away and don't blend in as much with the rodeo arena, like say a Dijon rough out may just sort of blend in. So with these colors standing out a little bit more, it allows athletes to get higher scores just because they're able to be noticed more by the judges, depending on how well they do. I mean, I'm sure that if you're not very good at your footwork, then that shows through a lot more too. <laughs> so it's a give and take. Do you want more attention? Then maybe these will be good for you if you are competing in the rodeo arena. There are a few things that I would like to see them improve on the future models. I would love to see a real stacked leather heel down here. This is a bonded leather or it appears to be bonded. And then on the inside, I would love to see just a hard leather insole underneath the removable insert. Basically, I would love to see what Ariat is doing in their Benchmade line and bring it over to the Relentless line a little bit. And it can't be that hard because they are both made in Mexico. And that's pretty much all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of these Ariat Futurity boots down in the comments below. Huge thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I will see you next time. Peace. The great colors and comfort from the Ariad Relentless. Grateful cowboys at the rodeo, oh, or enthusiasts. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Ariad video up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.